fatty. Slut. Fag. Why don't you just go die? These and many more words are heard by the victims of bullying every day. I was bullied when I was a kinder in the seventh grade. I was they tried to beat me up. I ran home from school every day. And I was just scared to go to school every day. They made me feel worthless. They made me feel like I didn't even matter and my existence could just end. They belittled me. I felt like everyone else was above me and I didn't deserve to exist. So they made me anxious to go to school every day. I was scared to go out in the hallway after class to change classes. I was nervous all the time. But you know what? All of these feelings, honestly, all of these feelings, they didn't matter. Because you know what? Behind me, I had my family to back me up. And that's all that matters. My family was there to support me through it, help me, get me the help I needed. When I moved to Wallingford, I made friends. I wasn't being picked on as much anymore. I just, I was a happier person. And even though I'm, I was bullied at times, it still haunted me. The feeling and the words that those people said to me haunted me. And I felt awful. I was depressed. I was convinced I had clinical depression. So I got help. But all of these bullies don't understand what they're doing to people when they say these things. So you know what? If you are a bully, why? That's all I have to ask you is why would you make somebody feel like that? Why would you want to make someone feel like that? So, you know, if you are being bullied, stand up for yourself. Go get an adult. Find someone. Say something. Don't let it keep happening. Because I went through it, and I know how it feels, and it doesn't feel good. We could never end bullying altogether. It could never stop totally, all completely. It could never happen. But if every person steps in and we stop when we see a situation and we stop and help that person we could decrease the numbers of suicide and bullying every year and i'm lucky that i had people there to help me and step in when i needed someone and just help me out because if i didn't i honestly don't know if i would be standing here today and so many other teens feel that way parents lose their kids siblings lose their older brothers their older sisters I know people that have committed suicide because of they because of being bullied. They're being bullied, they're being harassed, and it's just it needs to stop. It really does. It needs to stop. The numbers in suicide and bullying would go down if people would step in and help. If nobody's going to help, it's going to keep happening. So the next time you see someone being bullied, think about what you just heard and that you could stop that person from committing suicide or stop that bully from bullying her or him and another person. Think about, think about those families that lose their children every day because of a bully. Think about that little girl who goes to the bathroom every time she eats and she throws up afterwards because someone called her fat in school. Think about the boy who cuts himself because they call him fag at school because he happens to be gay. Think about that.